Hey guys, it's Meg Collins with Lucy'sList.com. The day has come for the convertible stroller smackdown that we've been so excited about. Initially, we were just going to do the Bright Text Be Ready and the City Select side by side. You know, the Coke and the Pepsi, the wars rage on. But we decided to add the Upper Baby Vista in as well, even though it's a little bit more expensive because people uh, asked me to. And actually, these are our three favorite convertibles. Uh, they're the top three convertibles out there. So let's get down to business. So guys, let's cover some basic features of these strollers side by side. First of all, price. Very important, right? Um, the Bright Text Be Ready and the Baby Jogger City Select uh, MSRP is $4.99. Now this is the 2014 City Select. And by the way, I've reviewed both of these in great detail separately. If you want to get like specific details, go see that on its own. Um, $4.99 for each of these. The 2014 is not discounted, but previous models are, and they're not that different. They've just got a different logo and a different buckle. So, uh, like on Amazon, I think you'll find both of them for like $3.99, even as low as $3.50 on the Be Ready. That is a great value, okay? Up a Baby Vista, not a discount product. This is a luxury product. It's rarely discounted. They follow their pricing very strictly. This is a $730 stroller, but wait, I know, I know, I know. It comes with a beautiful bassinet. Um, in fact, the bassinet is an awesome feature. If you live in a city and you don't use a car seat a whole lot, um, you would actually maybe have a look at this stroller. It also has a very good ride. It's a very, it's a luxury stroller, so um, it's very nice. Okay, so that's the price. As a single stroller, these are all shockingly similar. Um, this, the Epa Baby Vista, is the lightest just by hair. It's 25 and a half pounds. The City Select is 28 pounds, and the Bright Tax Be Ready is 26 pounds. So all kind of in the same neighborhood, the City Select being um, a little bit heavier than the two. Okay, now as singles, again, these are very similar. They can all, um, they have this, the seat that comes out. These are the same for all of them, so I'm just going to show it to you with the City Select. The seat can face forward, it can face reverse. Um, you can use it with a car seat adapter or a bassinet. Again, the bassinet comes with the Vista. Um, with these two, you have to purchase it separately. Um, now, in the car seat world, I think the Brytax gets point for that one because if you already own a Brytax infant car seat like the Be Safe or the Chaperone, you just click it right in with what comes in the box. You don't have to purchase the $60 or $70 car seat adapter that you do with the City Select. Um, the Upper Baby Vista is compatible with lots of other car seats as well, but you do have to also buy a car seat adapter. Um, it will go with the, um, the Mesa, the Upper Baby Mesa will just click right in. Otherwise, you have to buy an adapter. Um, okay, so that is the basic functionality as a single. Let's move on. Okay, let's talk tires and wheels and suspension. Um, I'm going to have to say the Vista wins the point in this category. Um, they've all got really nice, um, let's see, the, the Vista and the Be Ready both have 11 inch um, forever air tires, foam filled tires, you don't ever have to put air into them. The City Select has 12 inch tires, so slightly bigger. They all ride really well, guys. But as a single, I have to tell you that the ride on the Vista is a little bit better. Um, it's got a little bit better suspension. It's a, it's a more expensive, higher quality stroller, I mean, I say that with reservation, but um, so in the tire department, they're all great. I think the Vista, you know, slightly better. Um, Seat-wise, so this is the primary seat. This is the main seat, guys. The main seat on these, on the, on the City Select and the Be Ready, are both 24 inches from the bottom of the seat to where the kid would hit their head on the canopy. Um, so actually, the, B, the, uh, sorry, the Vista is a 22-inch seat, which is actually slightly smaller than these two. So in theory, these two should give you more longevity um, than the Vista, although I had my four-year-old in all three of them, and she looked kind of the same in all three of these. Okay, so let's look at sun canopies, because I know you want to know. I'm going to start over here with City Select. City Select has a very nice sun canopy, peekaboo window. The Brytax is like pretty much identical, okay? Peekaboo window as well. Vista takes the cake on the sun canopy. We all know Upper Baby has the best sun canopies and their umbrella strollers are no different. So point Upper Baby on the sun canopy. 
Um, recline wise, they're all pretty much the same. They all pretty much lie flat. That's the Vista. Let me show you the Be Ready. Sorry. Okay, that one's pretty much flat as well. And the City Select. Hello, City Select. How are you? I'm fine today. That has a really smooth recline. That's actually very flat. Okay, so all three of them are great in the recline department. Okay, moving on. Guys, we're going to fold these strollers for you, all three of them. Okay, this is the Baby Daughter City Select. We're going to do this. It's a two-handed fold. All three of them are, so sorry about that. All right, we're going to do that. And then it's got a little clip right here. Okay, so it's a pretty compact fold. It is not a standing fold like the other two, but you can just put it on its side, and it's, it's pretty slim. Okay, there, okay. I'm going to put the brake on, but be ready, you just squeeze these handlebar thingies back and you walk it back. Okay, and it clips right there. And that's it. Now this is a standing fold, which we love, um, so that's pretty cool too. And this one I'm just going to squeeze the handlebar, two-handed fold as well. And down she goes, and this is a standing fold as well. So they're all pretty much the same. The Vista and the Be Ready have standing folds. The City Select is not, but yeah, we have better. Guys, I wanted to show you what they look like next to each other folded. And the thing that's remarkable is they're kind of the same. They're the same footprint. Um, the City Select maybe is a little bit slimmer. Um, so in terms of putting these into your trunk of a car, you know, I feel like, let's see, let's do this one. You know, this will fit into most cars. It's not gonna fit into a really tiny trunk like it would not fit into my husband's Audi trunk because it's tiny. Um, but otherwise, I think they're going to pretty much fit into most car trunks. It'll be tight, but it will be doable. We're sweating up in here. We're going to convert all these to doubles really quickly for you. These are all very simple to convert to doubles. First, we're going to do the City Select. Doubles kit comes with two adapters and the second seat. Okay, all you have to do is stick these on the front. Oops, I can read. Yes, I can. And then you just pop your seat on. You can do it uh, forwards and backwards. I'll show you the different positions in a minute. Okay, don't look at my butt. Okay, that's a doubles kit. How long did that take? 20 seconds? Next is the Be Ready. The doubles kit also sold separately, also very easy to put on. Again, this is where the strollers are starting to get a little different. The, um, the doubles kit for the Be Ready goes on the back of the stroller, okay? So we're just gonna line up the notches here. So easy, you guys. <laughs> They're all so easy, really. Okay? And that's the doubles kit. Um, it only goes on the back of the Be Ready. This is the Up Baby Vista doubles kit. This is called the Rumble Seat. It is also sold separately. Okay, the Rumble Seat goes on to the front of the lower part of the frame, and it faces back. Okay, so let me show you how to do that real quick. So that took, what, 15 seconds, also super easy. Now the rumble seat does not um, have all the different configurations that the other two does, but um, we'll look at that in a second. So as a double, right, we're going to start with the Epa Baby Vista. Um, I'm not going to lie, this is probably my least favorite stroller as a double. This is where you're going to start seeing them diverge. You know, you can use it with your bassinet or with your car seat, but as you can see, baby number two back here, or child number one, number one or two, depending on how you look at it, has almost no room at all. Like that seat is right in their face. I'll show it with you with my kids in a second. Um, you're going to use the bassinet because you paid for the darn thing, right? So um, bassinet and car seat mode, not ideal on the Vista. Okay, so let's look at it. Okay, putting the main seat back on the Vista. Um, when your kids get a little bigger, this is kind of you have to do both seats facing rear, which is fine. Um, actually, Lucy and Alice were in this today, and they seemed quite happy. This, stro this stroller still has a really good ride, um, even with the rumble seat. 
Um, again, the weight is on the front of the stroller, kind of similar to the City Select. So it's going to be a little bit harder to steer as a double, obviously. Um, a little bit harder to hop up on a curb, okay? And the other thing to note is that this does not fold with two seats. You have to take the rumble seat off to fold it. So I think for me, it's, um, it's okay as a double. This stroller is awesome as a single, and it is okay as a double. Okay, this is the Be Ready as a double. Um, again, you've got the weight in the back of the stroller which um, is good because it's easy to maneuver with the weight in the back of the stroller, it's easy to pop it up on a curb. However, um, if you have a long stride, like you're one of these power striders, you might find that this impedes your stride, right? I don't think I would have a problem with this, but a lot of the reviewers did. So that's just, if you have a long stride, you should, you should probably not get the stroller. Um, as a double, again, this is the smaller seat. These seats are not made equal like on the City Select. So this can take two car seats, it can take a bassinet and all that. It's not ideal for twins, you can do it. Um, you know, you can, I mean, this is, this is the basic configuration here, is both seats facing forward. Sorry. In the lower position, you have to buy a car seat adapter regardless. In the upper position, if you have a Brightax car seat, you don't have to buy a car seat adapter. Okay, so that'll save you some money. This is also an option. Another riding position. Again, you're not going to get the versatility that you do with the City Select, but you can, when your babies are small, okay, you can use it with a small baby up here and a smaller medium child back here as long as they don't exceed the 35 pound weight limit. All right, this is the City Select Double. Um, by far the most spacious of the three. Um, which is both good and bad. It's great. Your kids are going to be more comfortable, I think, in this, perhaps. I mean, it depends on your kids, depends on the age range. Um, you're going to have more versatility with this stroller because of the way that the seats are spaced, okay? This is a great stroller for twins. You can do two car seats. You can do two bassinets if you really wanted to. You can do the f both seats facing forward, both seats facing back. A really popular way is to do, oh, sorry, I have to unzip this is to do seats facing each other so your kids can kind of like entertain each other and kick each other in the face. I'm really partially kidding. This uh, facing each other is a really popular configuration. Again, you can't really do this with many other strollers. <laughs> As you can see, your kids can just torment each other this way, so this is awesome. So that's a very popular configuration right there, okay? The downside to having the second seat that goes over the front wheels is that it's a much more longer stroller now. It's kind of like driving a bus. So it's going to be really hard for me to pop this up into a curb. Okay, you can turn around and do it backwards is the preferred way. But and if you live on a hill, this might like eh, start to careen down the hill. I recommend you put your heavier kid in the back so you have control. So this one's going to be harder to maneuver, okay? but very, very roomy and comfortable for your kids. Okay, folding as a double. I will just tell you right off the bat, my favorite one is the Be Ready. Um, it folds the easiest of the group. Um, I'm just gonna slide this down. Oops, I need to put the brake on. Okay, pull this, walk it back, and click. Huh? How you like them apples, huh? That's awesome. I can stick this in my car, it's intact, and when I, when I pull it up again, both seats are intact. Well, so that's awesome. As you know, as moms, it's like, the last thing we want to do is like take these strollers apart to get them in and out of our car. It's just a major pain. Okay, so that's the Be Ready. That's my favorite double fold. Hey guys, so the Baby Jogger City Select, um, technically you can fold this in doubles mode, but it's really difficult. So they actually recommend taking the front seat off, okay? So, yeah, sorry about that. So just folding it is just is just like you normally do. Okay, and then you've got your second seat. You can kind of you can kind of like put it on top of the other stroller when it's folded, okay? So that's the city select. And finally guys, the Upper Baby Vista is actually the least favorite to fold in the doubles position. It's a little onerous. You've got to first remove the rumble seat, right? So let's take Good thing, it's, it's, it's pretty easy to remove, so it's not that bad. So I'm going to take the rumble seat off. 
Okay, and then, wait, what? I've got to fold it with the seat facing forward. Okay. Okay, and then it's just the regular fold, which is just the, uh, that. It's like a multi-step process. So I would say um, the Be Ready, definitely the easiest fold with two seats. The City Select, you do have to pop that seat off, but it's pretty easy to fold. And the Vista, kind of a pain in the butt to fold as a double. Okay, guys, so, so what? Okay, you've seen all that stuff, okay? So let me give you kind of my general conclusions. Um, as a single stroller mainly, and as like a maybe double, like if you're pregnant right now, and you're thinking you want a convertible stroller, but you're not sure if you're going to have a second kid or whatever, like, the Upper Baby Vista is definitely like the best stroller as a single alone. Okay, again, you saw it as a double, it's okay. Okay, so that's, but you're gonna pay more for it. You get the bassinet, it's beautiful, so, so that's that. Okay, I'm gonna put this one aside. <laughs> okay, Coke versus Pepsi, which one's better? Again, it totally depends on your situation. Um, twins, definitely the City Select. Um, the fact that the, the seat goes over the front wheels of the City Select, makes this a much more versatile, roomy, comfortable stroller for your kids. Um, it makes it a little harder to maneuver and pop up on curbs for mom. It's a little bit more difficult to fold as a double because you have to remove that second seat, okay? Again, it's still a great stroller. Everyone loves a stroller. It's their top seller. The Bright Tax Be Ready is awesome too. The seat goes in the back, okay? So again, it might interfere with your stride, but it's going to be much easier to maneuver. You're not going to have all that weight up front. If you live on like a hill, in a hilly community, I might recommend this because this one can kind of get away from you with all that weight up front. Okay? So the Be Ready it definitely wins the, um, the being folded as a double stroller contest as well. So that is the top three convertible strollers. I am Meg Collins with LucysList.com. I hope... You got what you came for. I know we had a good time and we're sweating. So I'll see you next time.